Thank you. Um, Councilor Lubbock. So a couple things. Um, this may be through, uh, through the mayor, the town manager, to maybe even DPW and the subcommittee. Two things. Will Star, I, my, my understanding, Will Star Road is on the, one of the roads to be fixed through the referendum. My understanding, the water, water companies are going to do some work. They use, you know, a lot of times when these roads are going to be fixed, the water company, but you know, they don't do the nicest job. I mean, the road's in tough shape to begin with. And we've done this years past where instead of having, so not knowing when Will Star is going to be on the schedule, and again, I know the schedule is evolving, so I'm not asking it, but whenever it is that we simply maybe work with the water company to see if they will pay us the money instead of doing the work, ripping up the road, and if Will Star is not going to be on a, you know, for a couple of years, makes an even worse situation worse. And I think we did it Campania Road about four or five years ago where they actually paid us. We end up taking that money and, you know, instead of repping up the road, like again, Swart Ave, for example, unfortunately not in a referendum, but the water company went there and ruined that road. So just a suggestion, maybe we can go to DPW. Same thing, I got a call from a resident, again, DPW, and I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna ruin it, but so first 260 pounds, it's 10 bucks for if you go to the, you know, the transfer station. So the question is, I know we're doing the work to, to, to update the dump, or the transfer station, excuse my language. Um, can we have a, maybe if the part is a counter so someone can actually see because I think the concern is if they don't know, like, so he, he had like say 265 pounds. So he went in, paid his 10 bucks, you know, he had to pay his 10 bucks for the first 260. In my understanding, it goes back to zero, even if it's five. So he paid close to $30. So maybe we can reference maybe a flat fee after 260 to make it simpler for people. Maybe like, I know we have a flat fee. Just a suggestion for the DPW's, you know, subgroup. All due respect to Mr. Uh, Janitis, Mr. Quinlan had the best Enfield history class at, mm -hmm. at Fermi back in the day. He didn't have it. <laughs> uh, so, and, I, and again, I think I'll end it on the, these two. Uh, again, I'm not, I know there's a lot of information on the asset board assessment appeals, the assessor. I've been saying this since February. We really do need to get a handle on what has happened. So take a step back. Again, is this the way we want to serve our residents? The larger question here of I'm not placing blame, I'm not going after anybody, because I know everyone, there's always multiple sides to a story. However, when there's smoke, there's fire. And I think we can't just move on. I mean, I know there's been some improvements, but there's been so much back and forth, starting with the farmers. And the question really, when it comes to government, when things happen, and again, this is my, my basic philosophy, the people had the courage to, to appeal and to say something, good for them. What about all the folks who didn't? We're already concerned about the losing farmland throughout the, the town. And some of those assessments, and I've seen them because they handed them to me, and I went on to meet them at their farm. They were paying roughly 500 bucks in taxes to go to 17,000 in taxes. If they didn't know what they, if they didn't know they could appeal, if those people sell those farms, now we're, again, that, what does that turn into industrial land? So I mean, there's a larger issue beyond whether, again, who to blame and, and is there some customer service issues. I'm not gonna get into, but I think this is an issue that has to be addressed. I think we have to, I really do, we have to audit the system. And uh, no human being should have the power, subjective power that we've seen be used where you can bankrupt somebody over taxes. I'm sorry, I don't care what you believe and I don't care what party you're in, but to have that kind of subjectivity needs to be talked about in public so people understand it. So, and again, that's, I think, the larger issue. And, and maybe it's come f kind of the perfect storm of a reval, everything else, you know, new people coming to town that haven't been here. But I'm not trying to place blame on anybody, but clearly there's, we have to do something and look into this to fix it. So again, we don't want, I mean, I, I am saying this as someone, you know, I mean, as a manager, or as, as someone in position of power, you don't want people coming up talking about employees the way people are talking about so again, in fairness, so we have to address it. And I'm not placing blame at all. I'm saying, but we have to address it. And we have to get to the bottom of it so we can show the public we're listening. And maybe there is, we can work through this where we're not having people come up in here and making some comments that, again, I know are uncomfortable. And we certainly don't want to have any of our employees be, you know, be talked about that way. So I, I think we have to do something. We have to look at it. I really think we need to audit the system. How many clicks were made? How many, you know, of, of the uh, audit? We should be able to do it through the system. My understanding, you can. So again, if uh, again, I've seen some cards. We had a barn that was 25 years old. It's depreciated 80 percent, but it was listed at an A level, meaning it was worth it was worth the highest value. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I think there is fire there. We need to look at it. We need to be professional. 
All right, we got to be professional enough of let's, let's not call each other names, let's be professional. This can be addressed. And there is a larger issues other than, you know, against uh, the appeals process. It also turns into the 490. And again, it was pretty straightforward when we went to that meeting. I know you, you to your credit, you were there as the town manager. And two reasons why you lose your 490 status. Yet people, and we're losing their 490 status on other reasons. And that's not right. That needs to be looked at. And again, to your credit, you were there. So, I mean, I know you heard the presentation, so I, I don't want to, I know you're going to address it. So, again, for me, it's not, I'm more concerned of we have to fix this and maybe everybody's culpable. And as we unpeel the onion, we'll figure out, you know, what's the right way to go. So, again, we don't have, the last thing we need right now is more distrust. I mean, there's enough distrust in this country. Everything is to pit one person against another. Everything is, you're this, you're that. Everything's labeled. I mean, we got to at least take a step back, solve it figure it out and then if there's accountability needs to had accountability needs to be had so i just uh, so i think we do need to address it and i think we need to be professional about it i don't want to go on a soapbox but i think you know i mean again i hearing all this and i'm getting i've been getting calls since february yeah you know, I, I i think there is something here and we have to look into it um so again appreciate your you're listening to me and um but again i i don't want to i, I want to let's take it the right way the professional way and solve the problem so again we don't have this anymore and I had one other thing, and I apologize. I know I'm doing a lot of talking. Um, oh, sorry. Again, through the deputy mayor to the attorney, I'd like us to look at a resolution to pull officially out of the emergency. It's time to be in a non-emergency status. I mean, I think we need to be official about it, and I think we need to pull out of it. And again, I think to remind people we're the Constitution state, the purpose of the Constitution is to limit the government's power, not to tell you what your rights are. <laughs> So I think it's time we look at making a resolution, whether it be for uh, July or August, to pull out of this and go back, again, council manager, former government. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.